Hello and welcome to my tutorial. This tutorial is going to be how to create a simple program in Microsoft Visual Basic 6. It's going to be a simple, very, very simple mystery program. So we're going to start with the standard DXE. Move our forms up there a little. Make the form just a little bit bigger over here. Now, this tutorial is pretty much going over the if command. So, it's just a program that nobody really needs, but it's going to be going over the if command. So, let's make one that displays something cool. So, people are going to type their age into the program. Make a text box and a label so they know where to type their age. Clear the caption. Put a button that says submit. You don't really need your button that big, but... Okay. So, that's pretty much our basic program. But we're going to need the code to make it work. So, here's the code. If text text one dot text is less than, no, less than, less than, you need to put a space, and then another space, 21, then message box you can't drink yet else which is going to be if it's greater than 21 message box you can drink congrats and there's a basic program so then you run it and I'll type a random age like 56 submit Oh, right. Forgot about that. I was tricking you guys. At every at the end of every if command you need to press type in end if, which symbolizes that they're ending the if statements. So then you run it and you type your age, fifty six, random age. Submit. Oh, you can't drink yet. But fifty oh oh, I think we messed up on our symbols, guys. Yeah, we're probably just gonna have to swap that one. Because sometimes the symbols are weird. Let's try again. Fifty six. You can drink. Congrats. Just because I'm 56. Now let's say I was 12. You can't drink yet. 21. You can drink. Congrats. And there's a basic program. Uh, basic tutorial. Go go write the if command. If you want to make your program a little more enthusiastic, let's say, you can add, uh, I don't know, some more info they can enter. Like their name, your name, and then you do the code to make it so that. So you go like this type in text two dot text on the message box, symbolizing their name, plus. Then we're going to want a comma. Plus symbolizes that you're going to add that into it. We're going to do the same thing here pretty much. Text 2 dot text. Plus. We're going to add in a comma. And we're done with that. So you run it. Type in your name. Like mine is Brandon. And type in a random age. 67. <coughs> Brandon. You can drink. Congrats. So that's pretty cool. <coughs> Excuse me. You can also add in like option command. Like program off, program on, program off. And you could add in program on. The code for those would be like this is program off, so text one dot enabled, which pretty much enables it, and since it's off, you're going to not enable it, and text 2 dot enable equals false, and the button is named command command 1 dot enable equals false. If you want, you can just copy all that, and then double click on program on Paste it all, except change all the falses to true. True. 
true. Then you run it, and if you turn the program on, it stays on, off, off, on, and everything, off, everything goes on. You can't type in the message box, you can't even click on it, on, you can type, you can press the button, oh, right. Now, there's a problem with the program. If you type letters for submit, there's a problem because it's only programmed to imp get uh, numbers. So, we're going to make an on error command. So, on error, go to E. E. Then, exit sub. Then, E. We're going to make a display message box that says please enter a valid number. We're going to make this one critical, so press a comma after the quotations and type in VB critical. So you run it and you type in letters now. Please enter a valid number. There you go. A pretty basic program. Here's the code. I'll run it by you one more time. Just pause the video and write it down. There we go. Thanks for watching.